Alright, so the Chrome browser from Perplexity is now generally available. And that means this AI browser is no longer gated by the invite only program. So anyone can start downloading and using this AI browser. And by and large, I gotta say that this browser has some unique and useful features. But at the same time, some people are worried about the privacy implication of this browser, especially months ago, the company CEO says that this browser will basically track everything to sell the user data. And when I check some settings on the Chrome browser, I think he's telling the truth because some settings that will enhance the privacy do not exist in the Chrome browser. Like for example, there is a feature in Google Chrome where you can easily review the privacy configuration on the browser, but this option is not available in the Chromium browser, even though that browser is actually built on top of the Chromium uh, technology, which is the same technology used by the Google Chrome. So that's actually quite uh, concerning. But fortunately, there are a few things that you can do to make the Chromium browser to be a bit more privacy friendly. So let me show you how you can do it. Let's fire up the Chromium browser. And then you can navigate to the settings menu. And after that, go to privacy and security. Now here under private data, I do recommend to disable these options. This, 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 and this. And don't worry, the AI feature is still available, but now it is not able to access some private info like the history data, the web interaction, etc. So the AI feature is still there, but let's say uh, it is enabled to access some data that could be deemed to be uh, too personal. So that's a good start. Now, secondly, still in this page, you can scroll down a bit and go to security. Here under secure connections, I do recommend to enable HTTPS. Just enable this option. There you go. And also you can scroll down a bit. And uh, another thing that I do recommend to change is the DNS provider. So you can click this and then select Cloudflare dot, oh, sorry, one dot, one dot, one dot, one dot. So this is quite a popular DNS provider because it is uh, better when it comes to privacy and it is also very, very fast. And that's also the one that I'm using even on my Google Chrome browser. So uh, I can recommend this DNS provider for a lot of people. Now, let me just go back. And then here, let's scroll down again. Let's navigate to third party cookies. And here uh, we can enable uh, send a do not track request with your browsing traffic. Click this and click confirm. So uh, it is actually just a request. That doesn't mean that uh, it's uh, the website is going to honor it, but at least it is something that we can do in the browser. So uh, there, are, there are actually other things that you can do. Like for example, in the Chrome browser, you might want to delete the browsing history regularly. You might want to review the browser extension that you're using on the browser. And also it is always a good idea to update the browser to get the latest features. And hopefully they will have more features to control the privacy. So that's basically a few things that you can do to make this browser a bit more privacy friendly so that's basically it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video